Thanks to our friends at The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com forward slash rive to receive the top 10 stocks to buy right now. One of the things I've been watching really closely with the electric vehicle space is how much demand do all these companies have? Everybody's trying to ramp up production as quickly as possible. That's bringing a lot of new supply on the market. But are there enough buyers to fill all of that demand? And I think we're seeing a lot of signs across the industry that the answer is no right now. One of the biggest and most worrying signs has come from Rivian recently. And the concern comes back down to how much backlog the company has for its R1T and R1S vehicles. That's what I want to get into today. My name is Travis Hoyam. Thanks for watching Rive Investing. Please subscribe here on YouTube for all my content, including the latest on electric vehicle stocks. And I want to start with and and I want to start with some news that has come out in the past week, and that is that R1T vehicles can be ordered right now and be delivered in as little as two weeks. This is something that Rivian has actually tweeted, it's been reported in multiple places. That indicates that the backlog for R1T orders are not nearly as big as we once thought they were. Now, there's obviously the R1S and the R1T. We don't know what the backlog of each of those is, and we don't actually know backlog since November 7th, 2022. That is the last time that Rivian gave this number, the R1 net pre-orders for the US and Canada. They stopped reporting that in the fourth quarter of 2022. And management has basically dodged that question on conference calls as to how much backlog there is for R1 vehicles. What we do know is that in the most recent quarter, Rivian has said that it has $12 billion worth of cash. And then on top of that, there's about $2.7 billion worth of debt. So a little over $9 billion worth of net cash on the balance sheet. But the cash burn level is getting close to $2 billion per year when you add operating losses and the capital expenditures that the company has, trying to build out its current production facility and then another facility in Georgia. So why is all of this so concerning? Well, remember that 114,000 unit number? That was in November. Management said that they would produce about 50,000 vehicles this year in, in calendar 2023. So that indicates that there should be more than enough demand based on pre-orders to fill out the entire year and into 2024. That is actually exactly what management has said is that they have orders that go all the way into 2024, but that doesn't appear to be the case based on the fact that you can order a vehicle and get it delivered in a couple of weeks. So is there a demand problem? Well, that might be the case for the R1T truck specifically. And we have actually seen inventory levels rise across the industry in the truck side of the market. SUVs are still pretty hard to come by, but trucks are pretty available, whether you're looking at GM or Ford. So that's obviously the competition for a vehicle like the R1T. And it may indicate that demand is coming down as well. So the question here is, how can Rivian respond? And like we've seen with Tesla, there's only a couple of levers the company can pull. The most likely that they're going to pull is reducing prices. And I think that's going to be really fascinating to watch for Rivian because they have actually increased prices in the last couple of years, but they may have increased them at exactly the wrong time. They increased prices in March of 2022. And if you go in back and look at Tesla's numbers, that was actually when they were at their peak prices and peak margins. So since then, Tesla has actually been reducing prices to try to spur up demand. Is Rivian going to have to do the same thing? And if they're going to reduce prices, that means there's going to be even less margin. Losses are going to be even bigger. And the cash that is currently on the balance sheet is going to be burned even faster. This is just a really challenging dynamic for Rivian. And I think one of the bullish cases was, well, they have all this backlog. They're going to be able to sell every vehicle that they make in, at least this year, probably well into next year. But maybe that's not even true. And if they can't sell through 50,000 vehicles with the backlog that they have, what's going to happen when they ramp production to 200,000 to 500,000 units? What is demand going to look like? Is there going to be enough there to actually get to free cash flow positive? That's an open-ended question. And I saw this as really concerning news for Rivian. But what did you think of this news? What do you think about Rivian's demand and the stock as a result? Leave those comments in the comment section below. Don't forget to follow Rive Investing. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you here next time.